Hello, in this video, we'll talk about few string functions in Java. So first is concat, which basically means concatenation, which also we can say it is like joining. So you'll have two strings. So we are going to join the two strings using concat. So a substring is, let's say we have a string, hello. We have to, you know, take a part of this string and this will be our substring. So for that we'll use this function. So index of will give us the index of something present in that uh, string. Let's say again, we, let's say we have hello and we want to find where is the uh, e present. So this will give us the index of where e is present. Now let's say replace. Replace will replace a certain character with something else. Let's say we want to replace E with I, which we can do it in replace. So I'll be telling the exact syntax and how to use each of this in a few minutes. So let's see about lowercase. So this will convert, let's say our string is something like this. So this is all in uppercase. If you use two lower, we are going to convert this into lowercase and to upper is to convert the string into uppercase letters and split we will see how we can split a given string uh, based on some character let's say we want to split split based on comma so anything uh, before the comma becomes one string and anything after the comma will become the other string so now let's see the proper syntax for each of these okay so first let's see about concat Concat is like joining two strings. So let's say I have string one, str1, and it holds a name, John. Now I have another string, str2, and it has hello. Now I'm going to use concat to join this string with this. So I'm going to say dot concat C is small, not capital concat. Then I'm going to say str1. So this way, the string will now have hello and string one, which is John. So if you print str2, it is going to give you output. Hello, John. Okay, now substring. So let's say we have a string called John, how are you? And then we are going to take a part of this string and we are going to make it into a substring and we are going to use this function. Let's say I want just these two words, how are. So by index, you know, the first letter is index number zero. This is index number one. This is two, three, this comma will be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this space will be, sorry, I made a mistake over here. This space over here will also count and that will be index number 8, A will be index number 9, R will be index number 10, E will be 11 and this space will be 12. So for now, let's use this. So when we use a substring, I'm going to say str1 dot substring. All are in small, there is no capital letter. Inside this, I'm going to mention two parameters. Okay, so I'm going to give two parameters. First parameter, we are going to give the index from which you want the substring to start so in this case i want it from h so what is the index of h it is 5 so this parameter we are going to tell where you want to end it so if you give 11 over here this parameter is not inclusive it is exclusive okay it means whatever value you are going to give here it will take till the previous index so in this case if you give 12 it will not include this space okay 
it is not in going to include the index which you are mentioning here it will take till the previous index so it is going to take till 11 so this is the syntax first string or the string from which you want to extract the substring then the keyword substring then two parameters first parameters is the starting it is called inclusive so you are going to include this index number or the character in this index in the substring and this value is the end point and this is exclusive so you are not going to exclude the character present is in this index so this is about substring so now let's learn about index of index of okay let's talk about index of so it is going to give the index of the string or character which you specify so it is going to give a index right so it will be an integer value i'll say int i for index equal to the string from which you want to get the index dot index o capital f and let's say you want to find where is the index for how so as i have explained earlier j will start from index number 0 1 2 3 4 is the comma and 5 is the index of h 6 and 7 so what will this give will it give 5 6 and 7 because there are three characters in this string no it will just give 5 it will give the starting index of the string which has found in the given string okay so this is going to give the output as 5 if, without this if you give any other value let's say you just give um j so it is going to give you the value 0 because j is found in the index number 0 so index of is quite simple let's now learn about so let's see about replace let's say i have one more string or i'm creating one more string in this string i'm going to replace all the o with i okay i'm going to replace all o with i from this given string so i'll say str1 dot replace all small letters and then i'll say i'm going to replace o with i so this is going to give me a output if i print uh, str1 or str2 sorry so it will print j i h n comma h i w space a r e space y i u have i missed any o no so this is the output that str2 will give so replace will have two parameters first parameter is the one you want to replace and second parameter is the character with which you want to replace this so this is also quite simple now let's move on to lowercase and uppercase so the function is two so let's see about two lowercase and two uppercase now let's say i have a string one and it's going to be a mix of all small characters and capital letters so e d mixed characters c h a r okay that's it mixed care so i'm going to create one more string str2 in this i'm going to make str1 dot 2 lower case lower c capital l capital lower case and i'll create one more string to convert it to upper case so uh, string 3 equal to str1 which is the original string 2 upper u capital c capital okay so when i print str1 sorry str2 it is going to give me everything in small letters so it will be m i x e d care c 
small okay and if i print str3 it is going to give me everything in capital letter so mixed care so this is how two lower and two upper will work now let's see about split method it is quite interesting let's see how it works okay let's see about split so split is quite interesting so if you have a string hi john where are you so we are going to split it into two so now i'm going to split it using this comma okay so if i split this we are going to get two results right hi john will be one string and where are you will be the other string so we are getting two strings so i have to create an array of strings so string str2 which is an array and i'm going to tell str1 which is the string dot split which is the function and i'm going to tell use comma to split okay so it is going to split this is an array now after splitting it is going to give two string so this string will or this uh, array of string will be created of size 2 and in zeroth index hi john will be present and in first index where are you will be present so if i print str2 of 0 it is going to give me hi john and if i print str of 2 index 1 it is going to print where are you okay so the number of or the size of the array is automatically done with the split let's say if i don't want to split it using comma if i want to split it using spaces between the characters so i'm not going to put anything here i'm going to give a double quote i'm not going to enter anything here i'm just going to give a space okay you have to press the space bar and then you have to put one more uh, quotes and then leave it so this will create an array of size 0 high 1 2 3 4 there's a space over here 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 so what will be the output in string 2 of 0th index we can find high in string index number 1 what will you find we'll find john okay in index number one we'll find john and a comma because there is no space between john and comma if i say str2 of index number two i'll find where if i say str2 of index number three i'll find r str2 of index number four i'm going to find u with the question mark so this is how split method works i hope if you learn something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you